and good morning YouTube another bright and sunny day here in Cheshire in the UK welcome to Simply Diagnostics before we start don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell for the notifications you can also follow me on Twitter at PicoFlu on my Facebook page um, Simply Diagnostics Northwich comments and criticisms always welcome if you've got something to say put it down in the comment box below and uh, we'll get a conversation started we're looking at this 2011 1.1 kia rio uh, diesel um, it sounds a bit rough running um, I'll, I'll just let you have a listen to it quickly Now it is a three potter so it's shaking like it's very very fumey, um, not responsive to the throttle. Just looking at OBD data, um, it's got P2454, a stored code for DPF pressure sensor control circuit. Right, so we're on the vehicle, this is the DPF pressure sensor, we've got two pipes, uh, one before the DPF and one after the DPF. Three wires, so I'm expect to see a five volt, a ground and a signal. But you can see here, the clips are down, so somebody's clearly had these pipes unclipped um, and been fiddling with it. So we're just going to quickly do a couple of voltage checks. I've got my earth connected to battery negative. And then we'll just do a quick, uh, quick plausibility check. positive lead on there so 12.47 I'm quite happy with the readings my meters giving me so we go on to the first wire like I say I'm looking for a 5 volt a ground and a signal so just gently back probing the blue wire I've got a 5 volt reference the other outside wire we've got a nice steady ground you can the voltage reading is uh, is steady. You can see there. But waggle me probe around. I've got a fluctuating reading. If I put it on there, I've got a steady zero volts. So a good ground. And then we go on to the middle pin. I should have some sort of a voltage reading on there, either five volt or half a volt, somewhere around there. We've got 0.8. So the sensor is actually working. What we'll do now? We'll start it up and see if that voltage increases. So now with the engine running, we'll do the, we'll do the same test again. We're now looking at loaded circuit testing, we'll go straight back onto the signal wire. You can see it's, the signal's actually fluctuating. And we'll bring the idle up. See the reading is not really changing. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go onto both pipes with a with a pressure gauge. So that's the rear. And then the voltage now. Point nine four of a volt. Useful eyes you've got. Right, so we could see that. I don't know whether you could hear me or not, but basically on uh, on one pipe we had half a psi. On the the other pipe, which is the front pipe, the front of the particulate filter, we had about one psi, and the voltage only went up to about 0.9. Um, so 
Has somebody been messing with it? Has somebody been fiddling with it? Uh, who knows, but the pressure readings seem okay there. Nothing nothing that really would give me any con any cause for concern, but without a shadow of a doubt, the car is running like a dog. It's got that control circuit fault code logged, so somebody's obviously had the sensor unplugged. Just a little point that makes you think, hmm, what's going on here? That combined with the clips being down on the pipe, somebody's definitely been looking at it, and it went to the block for a reason. Thanks for watching.